In this tutorial, we will be working on this stunning cabinet and transform it into a boho bright piece, so stay tuned to see how we did it. I started by stripping down the top with 80 grit sandpaper to get rid of the old varnish. I sanded it by following the wood grain so I don't create any scratches on the surface. Then I used the 320 grit to smooth out the bare wood. I cleaned the whole piece with white lightening and it was ready to paint. For the base coat I have used the Gulf, a lovely soft turquoise and limeade, a very light green and such a delicious color from Dixie Belle paint. I first applied limeade in the center, then I applied the Gulf on the other corners and I start blending them slightly. I don't worry too much about the perfect blending for this piece. I used the mist bottle to help me keep the paint wet so it will be easy to move it around. I did the same on the whole piece, limeade in the middle and gulf on the corners. For the second coat I applied mermaid tail, a beautiful teal color from Dixiebel paint. But in the same time, I have been careful to leave some limeade and gulf patches uncovered as much as possible. I did this by using little amount of paint on the brush and applied it first on the outer corners where I wanted the paint to be more intense and where I intended to leave the color underneath slightly visible. I dilute it with water and then the paint will act as a washing in that particular spot. In the middle, I started to do a bit of dry brushing, but as I wasn't happy with the way it looks like, I sprayed it with water and I started blending it using uh, up and down and side motions uh, while leaving a bit of live meat um, picking through. I added little limeade spots over till and slightly blending it together just to light up and create variation of colors that will result in a really dreamy look and create also depth. As I finished with mermaid tail I added a bit of peacock which is um, one vibrant blue and the color that blends so easy with mermaid tail and it's just mesmerizing the combination between them two. I added peacock mostly on the corners and blend it with mermaid using side and normal up and down motions. The last color added is uh, the beautiful bunker hill blue which is a navy rich dark blue. I took a little amount of bunker heel on the, on the little brush and I added on the corners over peacock but being careful not to totally cover the peacock. Again, I don't aim for a perfect blend and brush strokes I are actually welcomed in this situation bringing even more character to this piece. I also did a bit of dry brushing on the carvings and on the center just to make it uh, pop out more.
In the middle, I blended the colors a bit more and I added um, a bit of peacock as well. The same steps applies for the other side of the piece, so I will put it on fast forward for now. Now the same steps but working on a slightly bigger surface so I had the mist bottle even closer to me at that point. First I added a small amount of mermaid tail on the corners where I want the color to be uh, more intense and I started to drag it to the middle while letting um, the bright blue underneath peeking through. I felt like adding a bit of limeade on the middle, which I blended it in using um, side motions. I added peacock on the corners and blended it into the teal shade. And last, the Bunker Hill Blue, which I also dry brush it on all edges and carvings. After the second coat dry, I took a little brush and the strong mustard yellow, actually called Colonel Mustard from Dixiebel Paint, and I applied it on the carvings and between the petals. After that, I took rusty needle and I dried brush it all over the carvings and along the edges, insisting on the corners. The last step is applying Florida orange, a rich, summerish and vibrant orange, using heavy dry brushing on all over the carvings and a bit on the edges over rusty nail. I also made the drips more intense by doing dry brushing with Florida Orange. Now I'll move to work on the side, which will be a little different process. As it's plain, it has no carvings, such as the front, so I wanted to create some dimension on it. Using the oval medium brush from Dixie Bell, I started to first add mermaid tail. I took a little amount of paint on the brush and I made sure to keep the brush damp at all times. I started to add uh, paint in the corners and along the edges and then I started to drag the paint to the center. The paint was quickly drying as it was a warm sunny day, so I mixed it with water which will reactivate the paint and I will be able to easily blend again. As I was happy with the blending, I watered down a bit of the mermaid tail which created some nice drips. As I watered it down, I let the process go on by itself and I start working around the drips, adding peacock on the corners.
The drips turn out into a quite interesting and electric shape and color. It's uh, definitely a rebel one. <laughs> I sealed the paint by applying three thin coats of flat top coat all over the piece. Between each coat I allowed it to dry for about two hours. On the beautiful oak top I applied hemp seed oil from Dixiebel with an applicator pad. The hemp oil dries to a matte finish, which is amazing and the most important, protects the wood. And this is the final result. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new from it and we'll see you next time!